again, I'm Dr. Kathy Gommer. This video, I wanna talk briefly about the Women's Health Initiative and breast cancer and hormone therapy. As we probably all know, if you're old enough like me, I'm about to be 54, um, back in the 80s, there was a large uh, research study called the Women's Health Initiative that looked at hormone replacement therapy in women. This study took primarily nurses, uh, the average age was about 65, and put them on a combination of estrogen and progesterone if they had their uterus still in place and estrogen only if they had previously had a hysterectomy. The results of that study were very alarming and the study was discontinued um, shortly at, about five years after it was done because of the findings. The findings were this, for women who were on estrogen and progesterone, they found that the combination caused an increased risk of breast cancer, stroke, and heart attacks. The estrogen alone group had an increased risk of blood clots and stroke and cardiac events, but not necessarily breast cancer. So as one would expect, the study was discontinued and there was a panic around the nation and everybody stopped their hormone therapy. Interestingly, now that we are well beyond that, they've gone back and looked at the data more closely to find out what really was going on with the study. And what they found in reevaluation of the data was this. First of all, the average age, like I said, was 65. We now know that if you start women on hormone replacement therapy as they're transitioning from perimenopause to menopause, that the risk is significantly less. If the women are 10 or 15 years beyond menopause and men are started, the, the risk to them is slightly more. Second thing, the hormones that they used at the time were not natural to the body. The estrogen was Premarin, which is horse-derived estrogen, and Provera, which is a very highly active synthetic progesterone. It was the combination of those two non-natural hormones to the body that increased the risk of blood clotting and stroke and heart attacks. Um, we now know to use more natural hormones, which is what we use in our office. We use estradiol and we use Prometrium. So the third problem with the study is the way that the, the medication was administered. These medications were administered orally, and we now know that oral estrogen and oral synthetic progesterone are metabolized in the liver, which is what causes an increased clotting rate because it, it's, and it basically initiates the clotting cascade in the body. That's why people had an increased risk of DVTs in the legs, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolus, so blood vessels or uh, blood clots going to the lung, as well as heart attacks. So it was the wrong uh, estrogen and progesterone given to the wrong age group of women in the wrong route, so in the oral dose. We now know that natural hormones given in an intramuscular injection to women who are transitioning into menopause is extremely safe, it's highly effective, and incredibly beneficial. And there's not any specific length of time that you can be on it. So initially we thought that people could only be on hormone replacement therapy for five years and then they would have to stop. Now we know from the patients that we treat that you can be on this as long as it's beneficial to you. There is no risk to being on it long term. And actually we're finding it to be quite beneficial long term. Lastly, I'd like to just address breast cancer risk. And obviously the, the lifetime risk for breast cancer in this country for most healthy women is about one in 11 if you, if you live into your 70s or, or longer. Obviously, all of our women in our office are on hormone therapy. So one would expect that our rate of breast cancer should be significantly higher than the general population. We find that not to be true. We don't see an increased risk of breast cancer in our patients. Obviously, we tell them to continue to see their primary doctor for their exams their self-breast exams, mammograms yearly, all of those things should continue to happen and we don't see an increased risk of breast cancer in our patients. So I, want, I hope that relieves some concern. I hope it answers some questions for you. If you do have more questions, please come talk to us in our office. We're always available. Thanks for listening.